Hey everyone and welcome to our first guitar lesson. Today I'm going to be showing you a few exercises I usually teach at my classes. They aim to improve right hand technique. In this first exercise, you'll be using the index and middle finger of your right hand. Place your thumb around here and now with your index finger pull the first string and rest it on the second string. So pull the first string towards the second string. This is called the rest stroke. Then with your middle finger, the same thing. Pull the first string and rest your finger on the second one. Now try to alternate between the two fingers like this. That's it. Practice a few times and try to follow me in the exercise one. Although you don't need to know how to read music to follow the exercise, you do need to know how to read tablature. But no worries, tablature is a super simple system. The tablature, or tab, have six lines and each line represents a guitar string. The top line represents the first string, the thinnest. The bottom line represents the sixth, the thickest. A zero on top of a line means to push that string open, without pushing down on any frets. A lowercase i means to push with the index finger, a lowercase m with the middle finger. A 3 on the first line means to push the first string on the third fret, but we'll get to that later. A vertical red line moves along the exercise to prevent you from getting lost. That's it. Simple as that. You are now ready to exercise 1. Great job! Now in exercise 2, we'll do the same exercise but across all strings. Now in exercise 3 we put our thumb to work, 4 times on the 6th string, also with the rest stroke, so you hit the string and rest it on the next one, like this. Four times, now to the next one. That's it, on all strings. If you're struggling with any of the exercises we've done this far, please go back and repeat them at a slower tempo. Alternating between the index and middle finger of your right hand should be second nature to you. It should be on your muscle memory. That means you should be alternating the index and middle finger without thinking. If you're feeling comfortable with everything we've done this far, move on to the next section. Exercises for the left hand. Finger names of the left hand are different from the right hand. Let's see this. In the right hand we have thumb, index, middle, ring finger, and on the left hand, first, second, third, and fourth finger. Now we need to place the first finger behind the first fret. With the tip of your finger, just behind the fret, you need to press the string against the fretboard. 
On the right hand, the same technique as before, you pull the string and rest it on the next one. If the sound isn't perfect, it could be one of three reasons. First one, you're placing your first finger too far from the fret, and so the sound doesn't sound good. Second, you may be pressing on top of the fret, and the sound also doesn't sound good. It needs to be a little bit before the fret. Third reason, your right hand isn't hitting the first string. So now we move on to the second fret with your second finger just before the fret. Now with your third finger on the third fret. And now with your fourth finger. So the idea is to play it evenly. I'm leaving the fingers there which can be quite tricky for a beginner. If you can't leave the fingers in place, just place one at a time. And now we do the same exercise on all strings, starting on the first one until the last one. Please be patient. This kind of exercises takes a while to master. If you feel like it's very difficult, take a step back and do them at a slower tempo. The main thing here is to get used to alternate between the two fingers and position the correct finger to the fret. Now let's repeat the same exercise a little up tempo. Have you been alternating between the index and middle finger? If you do, good work. I feel like now you understand the tablature, so I have one more exercise for you. If you're feeling like you haven't done much, you really shouldn't, because this kind of exercises helps develop coordination and independence on both hands. They are the backbone of playing the guitar. So now the last thing I usually teach at my classes is the name of the open strings, from the first to the sixth. E, B, G, D, A, E. E, B, G, D, A, E. Say with me, E, B, G, D, A, E. Hmm. You should make a song out of this.
The song is kind of catchy, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, I know, the singer could be better, but that's the only one available, so... FYI, this is my premiere as a singer, so... Anyway, let me know down in the comments what did you think about the music, and also, I want to know about your struggles. Was it hard to follow the exercises? Do you have any doubts? Write them down in the comments and I'll get back to you. We have a long road ahead learning how to play the guitar, but any great achievement starts with a small step. That's what we have done today. This was the first of many lessons I'll be uploading in this channel. In the next one, we actually start playing a few melodies, only on the first string. So be prepared for that. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notifications and I'll see you in the next one.